Greetings, and welcome back to GNN Mexico News. Right now, we just got a report that the child abusers Boris, Doris, and Rosie, has arrived in Mexico from Go City. We will go live with Kendra, who is in front of the courthouse. Kendra, are you there? So here we are in front of the courthouse. As you can see, the child abusers are about to arrive at court. In about five minutes, they will be heading to court for their crimes and we'll be facing a lot of consequences. You better freaking let us go right now. We mean it. <laughs> oh my god, Doris. Do you see from what I see? Yes, these people. They are angry at us. This cannot be happening. Rosie, I know you're too young for court. But you're gonna have to go to juvenile detention center for 15 years. What? 15 years? That is too long. I will be an adult by then. Please don't take away my mom and dad away. No officer, please. Just let our daughter stay in our cell. We really love our daughter. That's too bad, Boris. You're not trustworthy to take care of your daughter, nor your wife. We are removing your daughter from custody. You will never see your daughter ever again. Any last words? Before she goes to juvenile detention center. No, 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 no. Hey, what in the world are you doing? Taking away my daughter? She belongs to me. Well, not anymore. After what you have taught your daughter that wasn't even necessary. Now get in the courthouse. Wow, it's so nice that they're happy to see me. Caillou, time to go to court. Time to explain the judge for what happened to you. Don't kidnap my daughter. She does not deserve to be in juvenile detention center. I demand to speak to your manager. Don't get me started with your entitled care and attitude. G You, Caillou. This is all of your fault. Just you wait. I will come back and seek revenge. This is not fair. I'm getting my lawyer. Then I'm out of juvenile detention center. Court is now in session, so we are going into record for in the matter of people versus the wanted criminals that abuse Kalu 24 7. They are convicted of child abuse too many times, destruction. Kalu parents giving him punishment days non-stop, and abusing Kalu 24-7. Including, they give Kalu a birthday punishment day. Miss, Martin and Mary, come up to the stand. Let us go right now. You can't do this to us. What's happening right now? I see Caillou next to the judge. Miss, Morton, these people are giving angry stare at us, all of us. Oh my god. They are really angry at us. I feel so scared. Oh boy, this is really making me nervous and scared. Well, 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 looks like there are more criminals who helped Kalu parents for a birthday punishment day and celebrated his death. Hey, who are you to call us criminals? Caillou is a criminal and should be in jail, and... Shut up, Mary. You are a criminal because you helped Kalu parents for a birthday punishment day and celebrated Kalu death. Now we will continue, Gold Martin, you are here convicted of psychological abuse, being a strict teacher, abuse one of your students. And help Kalu's parents for a birthday punishment day, what do you have to say to yourself, you entitled Karen? Kalo, is one of the worst students at my class, he never pays attention at my class, and causes trouble. He crashed through a wall with a motorcycle at my class, last year, and he put me in a volcano, 
which I die from it, and I help his parents for his birthday punishment day to teach him a lesson. That has no excuse to do that to your student, and I believe why he crash a motorcycle in front of your class. You are giving him hard homework and exams. You even force your student to kill Chuck E. Cheese's, which he is my favorite NASCAR, and you gave him a human personality. That was very insane of you to do that. You are a horrible and excuse of a teacher. Hey, you don't talk to my staff like that. Who do you think you are? You should be. I didn't even say that you can talk. You are here convicted of allowing child abuse at your school, abuse one of your students, abuse of power, and help Kalu's parents for a birthday punishment day. What do you have to say to yourself? Well, I only allow child abuse. Because bad students need to be taught a lesson, Caillou is one of my worst students ever. He froze and Boris in the yellow castle, caused destruction, and smoking cigarettes in the bathroom with his friend Dora. So I help Caillou parents with his birthday punishment day to teach him a lesson. Bullcrap! Allowing child abuse at school is very illegal. You are freaking insane and a psychopath. Do you realize those things you did are child abuse? You are an excuse of a principal. So how do you two plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Not guilty. Wow. So you guys claim that you were innocent, despite you committed a huge crime. I can't believe of this. I call Sara's dad up to the stand. Thank you, Your Honor. So you must be the principal at my daughter's school, and your staff member, Miss Martin. I am so angry with you right now. You guys should be ashamed of yourself for allowing child abuse at school. It was illegal for you to you do. You seriously punish your student's name, Kalu, Dora, and Little Bill. You even allowed Harry Strack to take over Go Animate Elementary School. Do you know what's worse? You even allowed Kalu Dad to execute one of your students. You got to be kidding me! That's murder. What is your problem? And now look what my daughter has become. This is all of your fault. I regret living in Go City. You know what? My daughter will never attend your school ever again. The way that you teach illegal stuff at your school. As for you, Miss Martin, you should be ashamed of yourself. You even let my daughter bully a student named Kalu. You did a horrible job as a teacher. So me and my wife plead those criminals guilty. Thank you for your time. Next, I will call Mary's husband up to the stand. Thank you, Your Honor. Babe, what a coincidence. This is not what it looks like. I can explain everything. Oh, don't call me babe. We're not husband and wife no more. For what you did to that poor student named Kalo, you killed him and celebrate his death. You think murder and violence is funny? No. You're supposed to be a good wife, not a psychopath. I thought you were a nice person in the first place, but I was all wrong all along. So this is what you've been doing these years ago. So this is what you've been doing to those students. Because they have autism and disabilities, suffering abuse and making your students a living hell. What kind of a person are you? You are such an evil and possess witch. I didn't marry you because I didn't want you to get away from your crimes. I only marry you because I love you and care about you. We are supposed to raise our daughter to a successful and good person, not a evil criminal. Why would you even let our daughter have a gun? She's far too young to use a gun. I am so heartbroken, and I'm gonna have to plead those criminals guilty. Wait, please, don't leave me. I don't want to go to jail. So, how does everyone plead these criminals? Guilty. 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 Right, Gold Martin and Mary Clementine for both being Karen, strict teachers and principal, psychological abuse, abuse of power, allowing Harry Strack to execute your students, which is illegal, allowing child abuse at your school. And helped Kalu parents for his birthday punishment day. You both are sentenced to 25 years in Mexico prison. Both of you are removed as a teacher and the principal. What? 25 years? You cannot do that. I have been working as the teacher since 1997. You can't take our lives like that. And I have been working as the principal from 1997. You can't take our lives like that. My husband Haraki and son Billy. Are going to be furious at me when they see me at jail. I heard that you were the wife of Hoiki, the mom of Clementine and Billy. It's according to Silver Animate and Alex Wamser. But anyways, too bad. This is for the crimes that you have committed against your students. This is for your lesson, for which you have done from these years ago, and you will not get away from your crimes anymore. You will never harm your students ever again. Your behavior will no longer be tolerated no more. I hope this will make you change. You're not even qualified to be a principal nor a teacher. 
for what you have done to those students. Caillou, you bald idiot kid. How could you make us lose our job? I'm holding you responsible and suing you in court. Kalo, when we come off of those handcuffs, we're seriously ending you. Do you hear us? Shut up. It's not his fault for you guys losing your job. It's your own fault for allowing child abuse in school, being strict teachers and principal. Send him a death threat one more time, and I'll add your sentence to 50 years. Police officers, take these psychopath teachers and principal out of my court. We're dealing with the next criminals in court. No, don't take me to jail. This is not fair. Sorry about that. Anyways, moving on. Next, Mr. Cherry, come up to the stand. Hey, what are you doing? You can't bring me into court. Why people are giving me angry stares? You should be happy and proud that Kalu deserves to be child abuse for crimes that he committed. You'll find out eventually. Anyways, we are going into the record of people in the matter of people versus Mr. Cherry. Mr. Cherry, you are convicted of psychological abuse, abuse of power, being a strict vice principal, abuse one of your students, allowing child abuse at your school, and help Kalu's parents for his birthday punishment day. What do you have to say to yourself? Well, I'm not sorry for what I did to Kalu. I only allow child abuse at my school to teach bad students some lessons. And Kalu is my worst student ever in my school. He did Friday night funking in my school, a terrorist, and even put his teacher in the volcano. He deserves to get a punishment day for all the trouble I had to put with him. He's nothing but a huge annoying brat. And I help his parents for his birthday punishment day for a lesson for being the worst student in my school. Bullshit. You should know that allowing child abuse at your school is very illegal. Not only that, but you only forced him to play Nintendo games instead of Call of Duty, GTA 5, and Fortnite. You know it's just his opinion. And you even killed his friend along with the principal with a cannon. That is murder and very illegal. You are a horrible excuse of a vice principal, Mr. Cherry. So how do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. I doubt it. I would never even believe that you were innocent. Let's see what the contestants have to say about you. Thank you, Your Honor. Well. You must be Mr. Cherry. I am so sick of your behavior right now. You celebrated his death after his parents killed and tortured him. Not only that, but you have been treating your students like a punching bag. Murder isn't even funny at all. Child abuse and murder does not make life better. It's a serious crime and makes it worse. You should be ashamed of yourself for traumatizing your students and abusing them 24/7. I say that he is guilty. That's all I have to say, Your Honor. Thank you, Chibi. Next, it will be Mr. Cherry's brother, A.K.A. Alan. It's according to Alex Wamsa. So please come up to the stand. Oh no, you don't mean. That's right. It's me, your brother. Oh no, you must be very angry at me. And why are you here at court? Because I got a call from the police department from Mexico saying that you abused one of your students. This is reminding me when I used to abuse my son back in 2013. But now I don't know more because what I realized what I did was wrong. You just remind me of my 2013 self. So I thought you were trustworthy, but I was wrong. You're not. I couldn't believe you abused one of your students. That's not how vice principal is supposed to work. And help Kalu parents for his birthday punishment day. Thanks to you, he has the worst birthday ever because of you. So do you have anything to say to yourself? Nothing to say to yourself, and you're not sorry. What happened to apologizing? Well, have it your way. When we get to your jail cell, we're not accepting your apology. We didn't hear the words. I'm sorry. Repenting for your crimes against humanity. I guess we're gonna have to deny your apology for sympathy. Quick and easy. Anyways, my brother is guilty for what he has done to Kalu. Me and my son better go find a hotel. We'll be staying here for about a week or so. Mr. Cherry, me and your nephew will be meeting you at your jail cell tomorrow. Have fun. But I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with murder. No, you're not. Because you're the monster. You're the one who caused all of this damage. That's all I have to say, Your Honor. I must get going. Thank you, Alan. How does everyone in court plead, Mr. Cherry? Guilty. 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 Right, Mr. Cherry, for abusing one of your students, allowing child abuse at your school, psychological abuse, abuse of power, celebrating Kalu death. And help Kalu parents for his birthday punishment day. You are sentenced to life in prison. You are removed as a vice principal. What life in prison? That is not fair. You cannot take my life away. I've been working as a vice principal since 1997. You can't do this. I don't care. Maybe if you wouldn't help his parents with his birthday punishment day, none of this would have happened. And life isn't fair.
Officer, take this child abuser out of my court. Hey, let me go. I don't deserve to be life in prison. Kalu is the one that should be in life in prison, not me. Moving on, Hadley and Rosemary, come to the stand. Where are you taking us? Well, that was unexpected. Why is our grandson in front of the judge? Enough chit chatting. Let's begin with our section in the matter of people versus Kalu grandparents. Hadley and Rosemary, you two are convinced of celebrating your grandson's death, child abuse. Help Kalu parents for his birthday punishment day. What do you have to say to yourself? Well, ever since Kalu became a bad boy, we had cleaned his terrible mess. He even pushed Rosie downstairs. He destroys Rosie, new dollhouse and caused her to commit suicide. So me and my husband celebrated his death and for we helped his parents maker. for his birthday punishment day for what the trouble he has caused. That has no excuse. Do you realize celebrating someone's death who happened to be a family member is very awful and you have to do that. Shame on you. Hadley and Rosemary, so how do you do Not plead? guilty, your honor. I agree, not guilty, your honor. I doubt you're innocent. Let's see what the other contestant have to say about your abusive grandparents. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm ready to stand up against those stupid toxic grandparents. So, you must be Caillou grandparents. I can't believe you celebrated his death and helped his parents with his birthday punishment day. I can't believe you celebrated his death and helped his parents with his birthday punishment day. He had the worst birthday ever and I felt very bad for him. Come on. That's not how grandparents abuse their own grandson, and celebrating someone's death that happened to be a family member is very awful. What kind of psychopath grandparents are you? You should be ashamed of yourself. I say these grandparents are guilty. That's all I have to say, Your Honor. Thank you. So, how does everyone plead these criminals? Guilty. 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 Okay, Rosemary and Hadley, for celebrating your grandson's death. and help his parents for his birthday punishment day you two will be sentenced for 80 years in prison what 80 years that is not fair that feels like life in prison you can't do that you can't sentence us in 80 years we won't live for that long shut up rosemary and hedley if you wouldn't have celebrated his death and help his parents for his birthday punishment day you wouldn't have been involved in court but it's already too late you two deserve to be sent to jail at 80 years you are already have done enough Officers, get these psychopaths' grandparents out of my court. No, officers, don't take us to 80 years in prison. We are very sorry. We didn't realize it was child abuse. Moving on to the last criminals of Kalu parents, the real names are Boris and Doris. Come up to the stand. Give me back my daughter. I don't want her to go to juvenile detention center. She deserves to be with us. You police officers are doing a horrible job. We are going into the record of the matter of people versus Boris and Doris. Convicted of child abuse 24 7 destruction giving their son punishment days too many times and give their son a birthday punishment day. Doris and Boris do you realize how many damages that you caused to your son like what the hell is wrong with you? Do you have anything to say about this? For your information Kalu is the worst human being to everyone that could ever have. He caused trouble to Go City. He is a big time troublemaker. He deserves to have a birthday punishment day. I agree with my husband. He's nothing but a troublemaker. He destroyed his classroom. He also killed the Easter bunny. He deserves to die. He destroyed his sister's toy and forced PBS kids to bring his show back. He doesn't deserve to live on earth. Mom and dad, I'm getting sick and tired of you abusing me every day, grounding me every day. I have to get revenge on you mom and dad, just to teach you a lesson. Shut up, Kalu. You brought this to yourself. You don't talk to us like that. If you dare to speak to us that way again, me and your mom will. Shut the hell up, Boris. Your son has a right point about you. Don't even think about giving your son a punishment day. Cause you're in handcuffs. You have no remorse at all. You should realize that this is child abuse. How badly you treated her and punish her way to the extreme. You and your wife should be ashamed of yourself. So how does you and your wife plead? Not guilty. I agree. Not guilty. Like I would believe it. Let's see what these couples have to say about you. Thank you, Your Honor. So you must be the psychopath parents that abuse Kai Wu on his birthday. You should be ashamed of yourself. 
For what you did to your son, he doesn't deserve it. You even threw the rock at Kayla, while he was asleep, and even shot him as well, just to get him up from school. Seriously, that's not how you were supposed to wake him up, he couldn't have used an alarm clock, you couldn't have killed him. Yeah, you even force him to play Nintendo games, when it is his choice, and it's not your decision, we all have different opinions. You even burned down his room with gasoline, gasoline are not meant to be played around, gasoline are dangerous and you could have died. You force him to eat cake, but made out of a dirt, dirt are not meant to eat, they are for to grow stuff for vegetables and garden. Boris, you even push him down the stairs but with spikes on the stairs, destroy his computer and manage to get one of his friends killed. Boris, you even chop off his private part with a chainsaw, are you serious, doing that can get him killed, and that makes you a pedophile, what a pervert. I say that these criminals are guilty, and your honor I would like to adopt this innocent child, you will no longer have custody to your son no more. That's all I have to say your honor. Thank you, so how do everyone plead these criminals? Guilty. Guilty. Alright, Boris and Doris, for psychological abuse, murder, assault, torture, destruction, extreme child abuse, pedophilia and other more. And including by giving him 12 punishment days in a row, and almost giving him a 13th punishment day, you two are sentenced to death, in electric chair. Your death schedule will be on. Hey your honor. What is it Kalu? Instead of executing my parents about few weeks, I have a better idea, for them. Oh. What's your idea, Kalu? I would like to request that we should give my parents a... A punishment day. What? No, Kalu, how could you, your honor, don't accept my son's request? Wow, Kalu, that sounds like a great idea. Yes, because this is my revenge and payback, for my parents giving me punishment days non-stop. I will decide how many punishment days and think of the perfect one will give them, after we're done with the punishment. We'll execute them on the chair for tomorrow, so I have time to think of the worst punishment, for my parents. We're begging you, please stop, don't accept my son's requests, just execute us in about a week or so, please. Oh, you have a great point about this, your request is... Don't you dare accept. Accept it. No. No 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 and no 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 no. We don't want to have a punishment day. Well, guess what? You and your wife will be scheduled to have a punishment day until 8 o'clock in the morning. You will be staying in Mexico prison until 8 o'clock in the morning. When it's time, you will be getting a punishment day. By every town's folk, including your son, after your punishment day is done, you will be executed in the electric chair. No, that's bad. That should get a brutal punishment day, you ugly man. Oh my god, how could you call me an ugly man, you stupid racist man, that's it, police, get them out of the courthouse. You can't do this to us, this can't be happening. Case dismissed. The live of the trial of Boris and Doris Anderson, is now over. They will be getting a punishment day tomorrow, at 8 o'clock in the morning, after their punishment. They will be getting executed in the electric chair, if you want to join, and help Caillou giving his parents a punishment day. Sign up at the police station, it ends, until 10 p.m., anyways, we'll be going on a commercial break. Stay tuned for more GNN Mexico news. It's nice that I got adopted by my new family. I'm so glad that I requested Judge to have my punishment day. This will be my revenge and payback for my parents for giving me 12 punishment days and abusing me 24-7. I'm still working on the paper writing, thinking the best punishment for my parents. I'm glad the military nicely accepted my request to destroy my parents' house. I asked my foster dad to call them. Some people get my stuff from my parents' house, this will be the perfect punishment I ever think of. Hopefully I'll finish this paper by today and finish thinking what is the best punishment for my parents, until tomorrow. Hey Caillou. Oh hey, I'm still working on thinking what punishment is best for my parents. I understand, but I'm here to tell you, that you have some visitors, for one of their children's actions, 
including his wife and Mr. Cherry Brother, for what they have done to you, they are in the front of the door. Oh, they are here to see me, to apologize for one of my enemy's action, who helped my parents for my birthday punishment day, for what they have done to me. Well, I guess you could tell them to come in. Okay, I'll tell them to come in, and talk to you. Hi Caillou, we want to apologize for our son's actions. We're sorry that he has been torturing and snitching on you for your whole life. And even commit murder on you on your birthday. We did not raise him this way. Don't worry, he's gonna be in trouble when he's out of juvenile detention center. And he will never bother you ever again. We'll try and make it up for it. Thank you for apologizing but I'm not forgiving your son for what he has done to me on my birthday. And what's going to happen to him? Well, he will be attending community service until he learns his lessons and never become like those murderers. Anyways, we must get going and book a hotel. By in two days, we're gonna have to have a word with our son and discipline him. Oh, thank you. I hope your son learns a valuable lesson. Hi Kilu, I want to apologize for what my daughter has done to you. I'm sorry for what my daughter has done to you. Me and my wife did not raise her this way. I bet you have one of the worst school years. Because of her, I don't think she should attend that school no more. Going to an elementary school is not even qualified. To have children after what they have taught is very unacceptable. I understand what you have been through. You will never see my daughter ever again. She'll be so much in trouble when she's out of juvenile detention center. Thank you for apologizing. I'm glad that I'm gonna attend a better school than the abusive one. I understand. Me and my wife better get going and book a hotel. We'll talk to our daughter in about two days. We'll make it up for it. Bye. Hi, Krilly. I heard what my brother has done to you. I'm sorry for the trouble that you had to put with him. Me and my son are very angry at him right now. I couldn't believe what he had done to other students at his school. Me and my son are going to disown my brother. I'm not even allowing a child abuser to be a part of my family. He's not welcome to our family no more for what he has done to you on your birthday. Thank you for apologizing. You're welcome. My son is waiting for me in the car. I'll have a talk with my brother in about two days. When I meet him in jail, I promise I will make it up for it. Bye. Hi Kalo. Me and my son heard about what happened. The incident between about your parents and everything we heard because we were there at your parents' trial. Yes, my principal and her doctor was in the trial for what they did to me and helped my parents for my birthday punishment day. Along with my teacher, my two classmates, Leo, Sarah, the vice principal and my grandparents. I know, I can't believe that along with my wife and my daughter did all of this torture on your birthday. I came here that I'm really sorry that my wife and my daughter did this to you. I did not raise her that way to do this to you, me and my son has lost our trust to my daughter, including my wife, your parents, your teacher, the principal, the vice principal, your two classmate, Leo, Sarah and your grandparents. They should realize that all this is child abuse. I bet you had the worst birthday ever for your whole life. I feel very bad that your parents keep on abusing you 24 slash 7 and giving you 12 punishment days in a row. I'm so sorry that my wife and my daughter help your parents. For your birthday punishment day, they are in deep trouble with me and my son right now. Well, I'm glad you said very nice things to me and feel bad for me for all the abuse I've gone through. I accept your apology. I'm never forgiving your wife nor your daughter for what they have done to me. I understand what you're feeling and not forgiving my wife and my daughter for what they have done to you on your birthday. I'm fine with it. You don't deserve to be abuse on your birthday, your teacher. The vice principal and the principal has been removed from their job for what they did to you. They're sentenced to 25 years in prison and the vice principal has been sentenced to life in prison, including your classmates are in juvenile detention center and your grandparents have been sentenced to 80 years in prison. I hope they learn their lessons for what they have done to you. I heard that you request a judge to have your parents to have a punishment day as payback and revenge. I think this is a very great idea and a perfect choice to do that since your parents keep abusing you 24 slash 7 
I know, I'm still working on the paper and thinking, the best punishment for my parents, hopefully I'll finish until tomorrow. That's good, I hope this will teach your parents a lesson, for abusing you, after your parents are done with the punishment day, they will be executed and never abuse you ever again. That's correct, thank you for visiting and apologizing, for your wife and doctor's actions, towards me. You're welcome Kalo, thank you for accepting my apology, I wish. I can help you for your parents' punishment, but I can't, because me and my son are busy finding a hotel to stay in, and I'm divorcing my wife and having custody to my daughter. My wife doesn't deserve to have my daughter, after what she has taught that was unnecessary. I'm sure this will teach my principal a lesson for what she has done to me. Don't worry, me and my son will do that after we find a hotel to stay. By that, I'm watching the live event of your parents getting their punishment day and their execution, on TV, when the live event is over, I will visit my wife and divorce her for what she has done to you, I have to go now, good luck with your ideas, and giving your parents a punishment day, along with everyone that will help you, goodbye now, I will visit you some other time. Thank you, I will do my best, now where was I?